I'm Scott Tucker. I'm the Artistic Director of the Choral Arts Society of Washington. And we've commissioned Jake Renestead, who's with us uh, now. We're going to have a little conversation with him. Um, he's going to be premiered, a world premiere piece of his that we're doing on April 23rd, along with uh, the Mozart Ave Verum Corpus, also the Mozart Requiem, and the Bach Cantata one, uh, 51. So, Jake, how are you? Hey, I'm doing pretty well. How about yourself? I'm fine. I'm I'm here in uh, sunny Washington D.C. and you're there in sunny sunny Minneapolis, Minnesota. Sunny Minneapolis. So mm-hmm. um, I, I know you've been traveling a lot. Where where have you been recently? What have you been doing? Let's see. Recently, uh, last month, I was in Colorado for a premiere of a of a new piece for a chorus and orchestra in the, the lovely mountains of of the Denver area. <laughs> What what uh, and what, uh, what did you set for them? So this is actually a setting of a a poem I commissioned from poet Todd Boss, mm-hmm. who also wrote the text for this this, this piece coming that piece. we're working on. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, it was a a piece called Climb, and it was a celebration of a 40th anniversary of the chorus. And um, since they're situated in the mountains, I thought I always got to do something with the mountains and. I, I adore the mountains, and so Todd created this beautiful text of, of, of equating life to the, the lowlands of the mountain, and we have the support of the community we can climb in order to, uh, to arrive at the, the vista at the top. And um, So, yeah, it was a really lovely experience being out there, and I got to spend a little time in Rocky Mountain National Park and do a couple hikes, which was great. Oh, nice. So, yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful area, yeah. How, how long have you known Todd, and, and have you, you done other works with him? Yeah, we've collaborated quite a bit. Um, I actually met him when I first moved to Minneapolis a little over five years ago. A friend of mine, Mark Campbell, who's a librettist, uh, had said to me, oh, there's a there's a, a great poet there named Todd Watts. You should get to know his work. And so I just uh, found Todd's website and met, sent him a message, and um, we got together it was cool. I have a, a large work called Dreams of the Fallen for piano, chorus, and orchestra. And it was in the initial meeting with Todd that he had suggested the poetry of Brian Turner, which then served as the inspiration for Dreams of the Fallen for that piece. So, um, yeah, we just became uh, friends and um, a couple of years into our friendship decided to start collaborating and have done, oh gosh, six or seven uh, pieces now together. That's that's really nice. I mean, I think the the common image of a composer is someone just sort of holed up, uh, never <laughs> right. meeting anybody, <laughs> just scribbling away all the time. And, or dead. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> or dead. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to uh, nice to hear about collaborations and uh, and friendships. So this is a, a great piece that you've done for us, and and I know that you had Todd write the text. Can you tell us? I mean, tell us a little bit about the the genesis of this piece from your point of view? Sure. So, Scott, in our, in our, conversa- our initial conversations, you know, you had the idea of, of pairing the work with the Mozart Ave Verum Corpus. And so I just began to dive into that piece. I, I had sung it once, uh, I can't remember, at some point in my musical life. And, and I know that it's revered in, in the musical world, especially the choral world, as is about as close to perfection as you can get for a, a piece of music. Um, it's just extraordinary, really beautiful, and um, and so I just I just began to learn more and more about the piece and and discover, you know, that the text is fairly gruesome, and and Mozart has this really beautiful setting of it. So I I just began to to muse on that and figure out what what was he saying and why was he saying it, and and um, and so I thought about. You know, what if what if I created a piece that explored what Mozart was thinking about as he was writing, as he was conceiving of the piece? You know, I, we as composers, we channel our life experiences into the art that we create. And so, I, yeah, I just began to think about what, what, what was he thinking? What was he, you know, he, he wrote this less than six months before he died. And so just thinking about all, all of those things uh, that I'm sure were influencing his musical decisions, artistic decisions. So I got together with Todd. Well, first I was looking at, at other possible Latin texts. Uh, I was looking just 
for other poetry or other writings that might be able to work for it and nothing really connected. And so I went to Todd and said, you know, here's, here's the idea. What if we write something that is exploring what Mozart was thinking about as he was creating? And, um, and so Todd then w- went and, and was researching Mozart and trying to get into his head a little bit and, and then came back with this extraordinarily beautiful text. I love it because it's, you know, like the Ave Ver Corpus, it's so um, compact and, uh, you know, it's, it's rich, but, but it's, uh, you know, elegant in, in its uh, presentation. Yeah, I, really love, I really love the poem, too. You know, when you're, when you're listening to the piece or when, you're, when, when I'm looking at it, you can hear these fragments right away of the Ave Verum coming in. And... I think for a, for a, a listener who's at all familiar, familiar with it, I think you can you can kind of hear right away what's going on. And um, I'm wondering, just in your own process, when you first write those those first lines for the um, after the string introduction, and uh, the chorus sings, you know, fill a bath now, and then uh, right away you hear these um, chords that sound so familiar. I wonder, is that, you know, was that, was that intimidating at all to try to quote Mozart? Or was it, did it feel just very natural? I mean, you know, how did that feel when you were trying to, trying to, trying to quote him and, and do that? And that's a great point. You know, as artists, I think that we always tend to compare ourselves to those who came before us. So for me, I just had to kind of get over the fact that, that I was utilizing little snippets of his work and, and considering it more of an homage as opposed to trying to compare myself to him. And so, yeah, I think, yeah, that was the, you know, the intent was just really trying to channel his, his world, his artistic universe. And as, as, you know, as well as I could, I suppose, but also do it in the context of almost a dreamlike world. So, you know, that's why it opens with these, the string lines that augment or expand the simple uh, motivic content of, of the Mozart work as if he's working through it in his head before it comes to fruition. I want to ask you about that line um, uh, that Todd wrote, uh, red runs the water around him. Um, what, what does that line mean to you when you're, when you're setting it? Yeah, so, well, generally, you know, this, this poem, just for the listeners, captures the image of easing the body of Christ into a bath. And so, in considering the the crucifixion that the Ave Verum Corpus text talks about, I think that Mozart is then imagining that he is easing this body and that his music is a balm. And so, as the body is eased into this water... His blood is escaping into into that water, and I think shows this. It's this beautiful image of humanness, you know, blood as uh, considering the Christian tradition with sacrament, but also just as humans, we we bleed, and um, and so his wounds are uh, are you know are, the blood is filling filling that water and tainting it and. I think that's, there's something so beautiful about that image. It is. It's very compelling, for sure. I mean, and and, and you set it in such a way that it really kind of highlights. Mm. You know, I, 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 there's you know people that in the chorus that have talked about that that text and and what it might mean. And you know, one mentioned one mentioned uh, that of course he wrote this at Baden, as you know, which is a which is a spa area, and uh, you know he probably himself was kind of easing into a bath, you know, around that time. And, and also, um, one person mentioned uh, a really interesting connection, which was, uh, you know, this is a communion hymn. It's a communion piece uh, done, you know, with the, with the bread and the wine and, uh, you know, the redness of the wine, which, of course, symbolizes Christ's blood. So, so uh, you know, all of that kind of uh, intersecting together, you know, makes it... Absolutely. Really compelling image i think beautiful thank you yeah yeah i'm just i was so thrilled when i when i received the text i just i could just feel this like 
excitement and this magic energy. Like it was just really thrilling. Um, and I think that's what's so exciting about collaboration. You know, this was a text that wasn't, you know, I didn't necessarily expect it to be like this. I thought maybe it would explore more about, I don't know, the creative process or something. And then he sends me this and, and it's, it's more than I ever could have, could have hoped for. Um, so it's really exciting. Do you happen to have the text in front of you? Yeah. W- would you just mind reading it for us? Absolutely. So the, the poem's called uh, Mozart Closes His Eyes and Begins Hearing Ave Verum Corpus by Todd Boss. Chill a bath now. Lay the body in. Gently now. Softly now. Mind him. Tend him. Red runs the water around him. And yet, O oh warmth, O oh, softness, with my music let me kiss him, bless him, ease him away, at last, at last, Ave, Ave. And such a beautiful entree into the, the opening chords, you know, of the Mozart. Thank you so much, Jake, uh, for your time and for this piece. We are really, really thrilled to do it. The chorus is uh, coming along. They're sounding good. It's The whole uh, concert for the chorus is going to be from memory, so they're in the um, wow. throes of memorizing it right now. And um, Oh, that's fantastic. And they can't wait to meet you. And oh, I can't, I'm really I can't looking wait to meet you face-to-face face myself. And it's going to be really fun. I know. <laughs> I know. Me too. <laughs> it's going to be great. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Me too. So uh, please don't miss uh, this great concert, which is going to feature the Bach Cantata 51, and then this piece by Jake Runestet. Mozart closes his eyes and hears the Ave Verum, which will go straight into the Ave Verum corpus of Mozart. And then the second half will be the Mozart Requiem on April 23rd at 5 p.m. in the Kennedy Center. Thanks so much, Jake. Thank you. Thank you.